Good evening and welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Illinois students sponsored by the Illinois Association for College Admissions Counseling and Strive Scan. Uh, I just want to give you guys a few housekeeping items before our panelists get started. Um, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. It's just one of many different sessions happening um, over the next couple of weeks, so be sure to check out the full schedule at IACAC.org. Um, this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, IACAC.org. IACAC, uh, I now would like to turn everything over to our presenters. How's it going, everybody? My name is Alec Blackford, and I'm a freshman admissions counselor here at Missouri Baptist University. Uh, I'm from Illinois myself and uh, loved my experience here at MBU. I graduated with a degree in sports management. Um, and so the, all of us here are admissions counselors. And so we're going to introduce ourselves and we're going to get started. MK, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Mary Kate. I also so uh, I went to MBU. I studied music. Uh, and my favorite thing about MBU is the professors. Um, so many professors still pour into my life, even though I graduated five years ago. Um, and they're always so helpful um, and so kind. And they're just the best. Yeah, so my name is Colton Hernandez. I'm also a freshman admissions counselor. Um, I did not attend MBU, but um, I love MBU. Um, for the short time I've been here, I think the one thing that has been my favorite is just the connection, um, connection between staff and student, uh, faculty and student, just uh, the ability to, to grow. Um, we're not only trying to grow you as a student, but as a whole individual, um, holistic person. Um, and that's what I love about MBU. Lauren? Hi, my name is Lauren Krebs. I'm from Illinois, Southern Illinois, small town called Breeze. Um, I also went to Missouri Baptist University and was a student athlete here. Um, my favorite part about MBU is being a part of something bigger than myself. Um, was part of a team and I'm part of a great community as I'm working here. And with that, Colton, do you wanna start the video? So at MBU, um, we know that students in your shoes, a, a high school senior, um, you're not looking for just the typical college experience. Uh, you want something different for the next four years. Uh, you want something that's meaningful, something to be a part of. And at MBU, you're going to be stretched. Uh, you're going to grow in ways that challenge not only your academic knowledge, but also your dedication to being the very best that you can be within your field for the sake of making the world a better place. Um, and we want you to find your own specific calling. Um, each of you has a, a unique calling. And today, you're taking a step towards finding that calling just by being here and learning about MBU. Uh, you're exploring whether this is the place that you want to invest your educational future. Uh, it's our job to help you find answers to questions to make that more clear for you uh, as you kind of search that out. So a little bit about us. MBU uh, is located in Creefcor, Missouri. That's about 20 minutes uh, west of St. Louis City. Um, and we have about 1,200 students on our campus. That's undergraduate main campus students. Um, and most importantly, we are a Christian school. We are an evangelical university where students aren't required to make a statement of faith, but they're encouraged uh, to seek truth and to figure out what it is they believe um, with the safety and protection of a community that loves them. So our goal for tonight is for you guys to get a feel for what it's like to be a student here at MBU. 
Um, and there's a lot of different ways to do that. And there's so many aspects of being a college student and we're really excited to share that with you guys. And so some of the stuff we're gonna be covering is just in general what the student experience is here at MBU. Um, we're gonna highlight some of our key majors which are nursing, education, and business. Uh, we're gonna talk about our fine arts department for people who um, are interested in singing and, and theater and things like that. Uh, we're gonna talk about career opportunities in St. Louis, which is an amazing city. Um, we're gonna talk about the admissions process to try to clear up any questions or confusions that you guys have about that. And then um, we're gonna talk about athletics. Uh, we have a lot of sports here at MBU and it's a huge part of our culture. Um, but to get started, um, I think Lauren is gonna talk to us about the uh, business program. Yeah, so I wanted to introduce one of our most popular programs here at MBU, um, which is our School of Business. The MBU School of Business has countless opportunities and various employment paths. Um, so we are so excited about our new major, which is data analytics. Um, and with that, we're going to show you a short video on um, the School of Business. In the School of Business here at Missouri Baptist University, faith drives what we do and why we do it. We look at serving in the world of business as a calling, a calling from the Lord just as much as any other field of study could be a calling. Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Kennenberg, Dean School of Business here at Missouri Baptist University. Students enjoy a small class size here at Missouri Baptist University and with that it provides opportunity for students to work together as well as opportunity to get to know their professors and get advice, get counsel, coaching. When you're one of 20 in a class instead of one of 200 in a lecture hall, that's a big difference in terms of how much connection you're gonna make with that professor, um, the ability and availability for them to be there for you, to ask questions, explore really what you wanna do with your degree. And so they really make it your path and everybody's path is different in the school of business. The MBU School of Business has really Really prepared me to walk into that first job interview knowing I have the conceptual knowledge to do the job well and also the communication skills to succeed. St. Louis has so many internship and job opportunities because so many companies are headquartered here or have major branches uh, and offices here in St. Louis and um, just we have a broad spectrum of industries represented. So just great opportunity to find your niche and where you enjoy, would enjoy working. I'm looking forward to getting out into the workforce, giving back to my community here in St. Louis and just, yeah, growing into the next step of my life right here in St. Louis. The School of Business is on a continuous path of improvement as well as training students for lifelong learning. Most industries are looking for employees who embrace the constant change and innovation. And the School of Business at MBU is in pursuit of these same things. So another one of our programs uh, to consider uh, is our fine arts program. Um, so that might mean that you want to major in something fine arts related, or it might mean that you want to be part of an ensemble. It might mean both. Um, I'd love to touch on our ensembles that we do have. Again, I mentioned earlier I was a music student. I was part of several of these groups, and they were so impactful in my college experience. Um, at MBU, we have chances to sing if that's what you're into. We have a chorale that is for anybody and everybody. They can be part of that. Um, we have Chamber Singers, which is an auditioned group with scholarships. Um, we have a jazz choir. We have a gospel choir. And many of these groups go around and, and perform at various places. Um, we also have a theater group called In Character, and they will perform at high schools, youth groups, even juvenile detention centers. Um, and it's their goal to, to do outreach, to, to reach people with truth, to reach people with hope um, through stories. Uh, we have ministry groups such as Spirit Wing and Abide, which are worship teams that, again, go into the community and, and bring love and hope and gospel truth through music. We also have a chapel band. Um, at MBU we have chapel every Thursday and the chapel band leads music, leads worship during those gatherings as a university. Uh, if you're an instrumentalist, you can join our jazz band, string ensemble, 
or concert band and have an outlet through that. So if you're interested in those, we have auditions coming up. Uh, November 14th is the next one. And again, that's if you want to major in music or not. There are scholarship opportunities for you either way. February 6th is the next one. Um, and then February 15th, that's kind of the big day where if you want to audition for one of those groups like the gospel choir, etc, you can join us um, then for that. Um, if you are maybe just more focused on telling stories, spreading truth through media, through communications, journalism, public relations, um, we have a wonderful program there um, where they try to teach students not only to um, to do their job well and to be fully prepared and know the industry, but also to do so ethically and from a Christian worldview. Um, if you're interested in those, the other ones listed from music to worship leadership, um, I could go on and on about these programs. I love them. Um, I love the care with which our professors equip students um, to be excellent within that field. Thank you, MK. Um... Our fine arts program here is really awesome. They do so many cool things. And um, another program that we're really proud of here is our nursing school. Um, I think that we're seeing a lot um, in society today, just how important nurses are and are really proud of how we equip nurses here at MBU. And so we have a video here um, just showing just what makes our nursing school so special. Um, and so Colton's gonna play that for you. say that students should choose the School of Nursing here at MBU over other area universities because of our Christian commitment and then also because of the relationships that we build with our students. Hi, I'm Dr. Amber Pyatt, Dean of Nursing and Associate Professor of Nursing at Missouri Baptist University. So the School of Nursing here at MBU is unique first really because of our Christian commitment. So not only are we teaching our students how to be a nurse, but we're also teaching them how to serve in a very diverse world. This program is very special because it has a small classroom size and the professors are very intentional and it's neat to see how they integrate faith, the Christian faith, with the nursing practice. So our students spend a lot of time in their first semester doing hands-on skills, so learning a head-to-toe assessment, learning just the basic how to wash your hands and how to talk to a patient. Um, and then throughout the curriculum, they engage in simulation activities that consist of mock codes, disaster sims, um, talking about organ transplant, so just a lot of things that they may not be able to see in the real world setting right now as students, but we want them to gain that experience um, in the School of Nursing before they graduate. I always have had a heart for caring for people and, and nursing really fit that because they spend so much time with the patients and they're in and out of their rooms constantly. And I think that the School of Nursing has really prepared me to get accepted in the position as a summer nurse extern. And also it will prepare me to be competent as a nurse in the real world. Students typically don't have an issue finding a job after graduation. Um, and we've been very thankful that all of our graduates have been able to find a job even before they've graduated. I really feel like the School of Nursing at Missouri Baptist University prepares our students for a diverse workforce and it allows them to really shine on in the care that they're providing for our patients on a daily basis. Hello, my name is Sarah Marie Gibbs and I'm the Director of Career Development. And I've had 10 years of experience in the career realm at MBU. I graduated with my undergrad from MBU in 2010, then I also completed my MBA from MBU in 2018. I had the joy of pivoting over to admissions, um, both an online and main campus undergraduate for two years. Um, so I have had the pleasure of working alongside of many of the people in this presentation. In addition to those responsibilities, I have also had the last three years um, the ability to adjunct teach in the School of Business, um, and now I'm thrilled to be the Director of Career Development. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to be on this presentation with you all. I have a couple things I'd love to share with you. The first is recently I read the 2019 State of the St. Louis Workforce Report. I know it's thrilling information for everyone, um, but some of the things really resonated with some of the things that I, that I read. The first part is there is a high need for IT and healthcare work, workers. 
MBU is perfectly situated for these needs, with one of our largest apartments being our school of business, as you saw in the video. Within the school, we have both our IT major and our healthcare management major. Within the past five years, as you saw in the video, we've also started the School of Nursing, which is accredited and each year has graduates that are fully employed before they cross the graduation stage. The next interesting finding is that even during hard economic times, employers are still hiring and expected to continue to increase as we move forward. This allows for many diverse opportunities for internships and part-time positions in a student's field. St. Louis has nine Fortune 500 companies headquartered in St. Louis, including Centene, Edward Jones, Ameren, and Post Holdings. The joy of going to a school 20 miles outside of the city are there, inc there are incredible companies and opportunities. Well-known companies like Enterprise, BJC Healthcare, Panera, Schnucks, Purina, Boeing, Cassidy, Turley, and McCarthy. Um, even just this past week, we had the director of IT from Boeing speaking at our Women in Leadership event, which takes part during our career week. With grace and kindness, um, she shared in her presentation um, of being a woman of color in a male-dominated workforce and encouraged the, NT, the attendees. Oh, and by the way, she is an MBU alum and proud of it. Um, so she is one of the many alum that we compare our students with when they are discovering what their future might hold. Also, another beautiful part about St. Louis, if you can't find a great employer, which there are many, you can become the boss. St. Louis is nominated as one of the best cities for startups, a number one city for the most female entrepreneurs. Another finding that I found interesting is that employers are wanting to hire passionate students who care about the world. St. Louis is home of many nonprofits that have causes in a wide variety of focuses. This is great for those who want to work in human services or social work, or that just want to continue to better the world. We have organizations like Commission St. Louis that specializes in K through 12 education and also employment and mentoring for those who have been incarcerated. A place called Bringing Families Together who work with foster care and adoption and both companies have MBU alumni there. This desire to have students who care about the world connects to a greater mission at MBU and one of our core values is we believe in social change through service and leadership. And this is due to the fact that we are serious and intentional about our Christian faith. These are just some recent findings in our report and you will have so many decisions about where you want to go in the future and what you wanna major in and eventually what you wanna do with your life. My encouragement would be to choose a place that cares about you and your future. As an alum that came from a large high school and didn't really feel seen there, when I came to MBU, I was given so many leadership opportunities and it was those that grew my character and eventually my career. I was surrounded by faculty and staff that cared deeply about my future and wanted to see me succeed sometimes more than I thought I even could. Whether it is at MBU or elsewhere, that is why I encourage you to find in the university one that cares deeply about you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sarah Marie. That's so excellent to hear about the ways that you're serving our students. Um, so the next few minutes we're going to take uh, to look at our education department. And I feel so much pride for this specific department as I am a current student getting my education certification. Uh, I have been blown away by the professors and the experience they bring into the classroom and the pride they have about our program and, and how it is it's special and you'll see a little bit more about that in this video. This is a teaching teachers how to teach division of education. And a lot of people don't understand that. Um, and when they come to the School of Education, they're like, well, what am I gonna learn? Education, how to pass the crafts on to the next generation. Um, Dr. Tammy Cox, the Dean of Education at uh, Missouri Baptist University. 
In the School of Education at Missouri Baptist University, we have 45 options for certifications, certifying you as a preschool teacher all the way up to a principal. I chose the education program because it's highly praised in producing high quality teachers in the working field. I came here not knowing that I wanted to be a teacher, but when I got in the education program, it has changed me. I've become more patient, helping others more. I love the program here at MBU. All of our faculty members uh, teach from a biblical worldview. They also have a heart for mentoring. They have a heart for passing their craft off to the next generation of teachers. Um, our faculty members spend time with our students in and out of the classroom, mentoring them, assisting them. The education program here at MBU is awesome. The teachers work in collaboration with students and especially me, I've experienced it where teachers give us great feedback and helping us about real life situations that we'll face when we are teachers. Students that usually end up majoring in education and then getting their certification through the state of Missouri are usually students that at a young age um, enjoy working with children. I'm planning on returning back home to the Bahamas and get in the education program and put what I've learned here into use. The faculty at the School of Education at Missouri Baptist University invest in our students. Students that come through the School of Education at Missouri Baptist University are superbly prepared to go out and change lives, to go out and affect positively the lives of our K-12 students in the public schools and in the private schools. Our teachers shine on, they teach on. So hopefully we have convinced you now that you have at least some interest or thoughts about coming to MBU. So with that, I'm gonna kind of dive into our application process. Um, so first, right now, if you're watching at home, I strongly encourage you to just take out your phone and apply. Um, so go to omobap.edu slash apply. It takes five minutes and all it does, it'll connect you with me. And that way we can kind of work through the rest of this process. Um, so after you apply, we will need two documents from you. And the first um, document will be your ACT, SAT, or CLT score. Um, as soon as we receive that, we will need or and or we'll need your high school transcript. And the best way to get that is to email or go talk to your high school counselor and then have them send it directly to me. Um, and then we will need a letter of recommendation. So just a key piece on that, just it cannot be a relative, but some good ones would be like a coach or your, pre or your principal, a teacher, um, a pastor, any individual like that. That are the three things that we need to do first. Um, after we go through that, we uh, recommend you guys apply for FAFSA. If you um, have not heard of the FAFSA, it is a free application for federal student aid, also known as free money. Um, so make sure to fill this out before February 1st. Um, and to maximize your chances to get the most money possible, do it as early as you can. Um, registration starts as early as April. Um, and this is when you actually get to schedule and start to call MBU your home. So that's when you'll go schedule classes and different things like that. Um, lastly, we have so many amazing housing options at MBU. And the priority deadline is June 1st, um, but Alec will actually touch on this a little bit later. And with that, Alec, do you, oh, wait, hold on. So admission requirements. Um, so uh, to get admitted to MBU, you need a 2.0 GPA and a 20 ACT. Um, but I strongly encourage if you are a little bit underneath in that, um, reach out to your counselor because there might be ways for you to get admitted. Um, and for transfers, it's a 2.0 GPA. Now, Alec, you want to? Discuss scholarships. Thanks, Lauren. Uh, so we understand that college uh, costs money. I hate to burst your bubble if you thought that it didn't um, up until this point, but we have some scholarship opportunities here at MBU, and our job is to help you get as many of them as possible. And so I'm going to touch base on what some of those are. Um, and so in front of you here, you've got a scholarship grid, and these are going to be based on your ACT and GPA. And so Maybe you're not happy with your ACT score right now, or maybe you haven't taken it yet because of COVID. Um, we understand. We'll always take your highest ACT score. So take it as many times as you want. You'll, we're trying to get you the biggest scholarship as possible, so keep taking it. Um, 
this is a guideline based grid. And so maybe you have a 3.7 and a 25 and you don't know where you fall in this. Um, I encourage you to reach out to Lauren. She's your admissions counselor and she'll be able to help you figure out where exactly you fall. Um, and even what you, maybe you need to get on your next ACT score to bump up that scholarship a little bit. And then on the top, you see the full trustee scholarship. So this is given to two students per year to students with above a 3.6 GPA and a 30 on the ACT. This is a full tuition scholarship. So if you fall in that category, definitely apply. It's free college, that's huge. And so this is a really big opportunity. And then the next slide here is some additional scholarships that are there. Um, so some of the bigger ones are if, if you're coming from a Christian high school or private high school, um, you're eligible for um, an additional $1,000 a year. Uh, if your parents or guardians graduated from MBU, it's an additional $2,000 per year. And uh, if you um, are interested in a ministry major or minor here at MBU, um, you're eligible for additional scholarships per year. And so we want you to look at these um, and we want you to get as much scholarship as you can because we want you to be able to be financially comfortable here and set up for success in the long term. Um, and now Colton is going to talk to you about athletics and athletics is another way for you to get some scholarship money in college while playing your sport. So Colton, if you want to go ahead and talk to them about that. Hi, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Colton. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, MB athletics and what it is. Um, like Alex said, there are multiple different ways to get scholarships. Uh, Mary Kate talked a little bit earlier about um, fine arts. Um, we talked a little bit about merit scholarships. And so now we're going to talk um, a little bit more about MB athletics. Um, but I'm going to talk to you first about what is MBU Athletics, what makes up MBU Athletics. So um, a lot of you know uh, the NCAA, a lot of you have heard of the Division I, Division II, Division III. Um, MBU is a part of the NAIA, which is the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics. Uh, the NAIA is actually much smaller than NCAA, uh, but it does actually have more scholarship opportunities available. So um, that's a big perk. Um, so the NIA is mixed up of about 251 schools. They're typically small private schools, uh, which is going to be around 60,000 students. Um, and they're really focused on just character-driven athletics. And that's what they really strive to do. Um, we do at MBU have one of the largest uh, athletics de departments in the NAI. Uh, we compete heavily with a lot of Division II schools. Um, with the largest athletics program, we do have 27 varsity programs. I'm naming a couple right here. Uh, volleyball, football, basketball, esports, men's and women's. Um, and so there's tons of opportunities available um, to come and play your sport. We also have six JD programs, meaning that competition um, is going to be there from the time you walk in, from the time you walk out. Um, whether you're a freshman or senior, there's always going to be competition for you. Um, and then the last point here, since 2002, MBU has been giving the Champions of Character Award from the NAIA. So our aim as an athletics department is to change the culture of the sport and really provide training to instill specific values to build character for our students, for our coaches, uh, for our administrators. So there's five pillars to that, um, respect, responsibility, servant leadership, integrity, and sportsmanship. So we really strive from, from our department um, to really just drive and boost you into your career field. We really wanna tra transform you into a champion of character. Um, as we walk into the next slide here, this is going to be a uh, recruitment. So uh, the first bullet point, um, MBU Athletics Recruit Form. So this is going to be on our mbuspartans.com page. Um, if you look at the top, there's going to be a little uh, recruit tab. Uh, click on that. You'll, you'll be able to fill out an MBU Perspective Athlete Form. All this information, it's going to take about five minutes to fill out. All this information is going to go directly straight to the coach. So um, get in contact with the coaches. That's a big deal. Um, really take control of that process um, when you're getting recruited. Um, but first and foremost, make sure you go through the admissions office. But what we talked about earlier, that's going to be huge. Um, recruitment comes later on. Um, send in film. This is a part of the recruitment process. We know that COVID's happening right now. So even practice or game film, uh, they, they don't want to just see the stats. They want to see the skills uh, behind it. So send in those uh, so they can get you an athletic scholarship so they can extend that athletic scholarship to you. Um, at MBU with the NAIA, we do have two ways we do athletic scholarships or scholarships in general. 
we have the ad admissions and academic scholarship, and that's going to be uh, qualified through us at the admissions. And then we have that athletic scholarship that's going to be a little bit different. That's going to be directly based with coach. Um, the academic is going to be based off that GPA and ACT. Um, and then that athletic scholarship is going to not only going to be based off of the, uh, the ACT and GPA, but your skill, what you're bringing to the team on and off the court or field, um, it's also going to be based off of team needs. Next slide, please. And then the last part is just uh, the student athlete experience. Um, it's it's a great experience here at MBU. Um, a couple things I'll hit on athletic trainers. We do have um, one of the largest athletic training facilities in the NAIA. It really rivals the D1, uh, some D1 schools. So that's a really big plus. You'll have athletic trainer per uh, per sports team. Um, like I talked about earlier, um, character development. This is huge, but we really want to transform you into that character, or that champion of character on and off the field. Um, and then lastly, our athletic facilities. So I'll, I'll hit on two here. Uh, Spartan Field, as you can see on the left, um, that is going to be our football field, our lacrosse field, our soccer field. Um, so it can, it's completed in 2015 with artificial turf with stands, um, locker rooms. It's going to have a weight room in there. So it's, it's all new. It's great. Um, this actually, we just finished our eight lane competition ready track. And we're the only um, institution in the American Midwest Conference to have that. So we're really excited about that. Um, and then lastly, the SRC. Um, this is a state of the art sports complex. It's going to host space for basketball, volleyball, wrestling, cheerleading. It's about 47,000 square feet. So it's huge um, and readily available um, to create championship teams. So uh, we're really excited about that. Um, we'd love for you to inquire. Um, about the student athlete experience. Um, but for now, I'm gonna uh, hand it over to Lauren, who's gonna talk about her student athlete experience. She played uh, soccer for a couple of years at MBU. Thank you so much, um, Colton, for kind of painting a picture of how it is to be like a Spartan. Um, so I was a student athlete here at MBU, kind of like what Colton was saying, and I absolutely loved it. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity. So I remember getting that first recruitment call from the coach, soccer coach and asking me to visit campus and I was, initially really excited, but to be completely transparent, um, after I did some research, it was a smaller school, and I was kind of looking for a big school, and it was a Christian college. I didn't know how I felt about that, and I was pretty skeptical, but um, I was not going to let my reservations um, take me away, so I actually decided, you know what, I'm going to keep my options open and visit MBU. Um, so I decided to go on a visit, you know, just in case, and ex Expecting it to be like all the other 10 plus college tours I went on, um, I was completely taken aback by the sense of community I felt when I was on campus and the individualized experience I was given. I truly felt like they cared for me and I wasn't even a student yet. Um, so wrapping up my tour, I was lucky enough to get offered a scholarship and just like that, I was a Spartan. So I did not know anyone at MOBAP. Um, I was one of those individuals that got homesick, so I was very anxious to start my next chapter here at MBU. All my worries seemed to go away as soon as I met up with my team. Um, the sense of community I felt that first day I came on campus began to come to life. And I began my journey at MBU. It started. It seemed to be an instant community surrounding me with, um, I found my best friend. I was actually just, in a, my teammate's wedding this past weekend, and um, MBU came, became my home away from home. And not only did I find my lifelong friends, had a support system of 12 girls, but I also had a coach that truly cared about me. Um, not only my play on the field, but to build my character, leadership school, skills, and prepare me for the future. So majority of athletes do not play on after MBU, not saying we don't have a, a MBU alum that's in the MLB right now, but most athletes enter the workforce and the coaches here truly want to see them to succeed in their future and prepare them as much as they can. Is that saying that they do not want them to, or not, do not want to win games? Not at all. They just see the big picture and want to take care of you after you graduate. So academics truly come first here at MBU and there are so many opportunities as a student athlete. After I graduated in 2017 with my exercise science bachelors, I was offered a full ride to get my master's and be the graduate assistant for the women's soccer team, which in other words, I got to coach, um, be an assistant coach. So yes, I was able to play my favorite sport in college and have school paid for, but it even led me to getting my master's paid for and aided me getting this job as a freshman counselor and having the opportunity to speak with you today. 
Um, with that, if you're not an athlete, there's other ways to have that sense of community here at MBU, and Alec is actually going to kind of dive into that. Yeah, thank you, Lauren. Um, so yeah, maybe you find yourself sitting here and you're like, well, you know, fine arts isn't for me, and I, I don't want to play a sport in college, so, so what do you have for me? And so that's where I found myself as a student here. I didn't want to be a part of college athletics, and I'm not good at fine arts. It's not for me. And so I found a home in resident life um, and in student activities. And so um, here on our campus, we have a lot of student organizations for you to be a part of. And we have organizations such as um, MBU Outdoors, Association of Black Collegians, Exercises Medicine. Um, we have so many opportunities. And one of the beauties of us being a small university is if there's something that you think we need, you can start one. I started an organization when I was a freshman here at MBU. And it was so much fun to do that. And um, that's just such a benefit of being a student here at MBU. And in resident life, um, that's where I kind of found my, my like place here at MBU when I was a student. I, I met a lot of friends. Um, I was an RA for three years. Um, there's a lot of events that we do here through our resident life. Uh, there's four different options for housing. And they're all super nice. The dorms are huge. So if you're kind of worried about, well, I'm in kind of a big room and I'm going to have to fit in a really small dorm room with somebody else not the case here the rooms are huge uh, don't have to worry about that anymore um, it's just a lot of opportunities for you to find a home here that's the goal um, you're not just picking a college you're picking your home for the next four years and uh, at mbu we genuinely care about that and we want you to find a home here and so lauren's going to wrap us up here but i just want you to know watching that we care about where you're going to be for the next four years um, we care about that and we want you to find a place uh, we hope that it's here, um, and we want you to figure out what that looks like here at MBU. So, Lauren, you can go ahead and uh, close this up. Yeah, just like Alex said, so the next four year, years of your life will be defining years. This is a transition from high school into a time of creating new lifelong friends and memories of taking risks and getting feedback from experts in the field, your professors, of sharpening the strengths that you already have and refining your weaknesses. You will meet people that help you change for the better and you will help them too. Searching for the right school is an exciting time and we are here to help you through that process. Please reach out with any follow-up questions and let's chat about whether MBU is the right choice for you. And with that guys, I would love for you guys to reach out to me or I can reach out to you. Um, and we're having a few events coming up that I wanna discuss. Um, I know you guys are from Illinois, so it might be a little bit of a drive, but this Saturday, we have Spartan Preview Day. And if you wanna take out your phone and scan this QR code, um, that way it'll come get you right to the website, or you can just contact me and I can walk you through the process or um, sign you up. Um, if you can't make it this Saturday, no worries. We are doing a mini version of this big preview day um, called Spartan Fridays, as well as we do individual visits Monday through Friday from 10 at 10 and at two. Um, so we'd love to have you guys, and with that, I think we have a Q&A. Any questions? I don't think I see any questions coming through. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out, but thanks so much to our, our presenters today for great information today about your university. Um, I do want to say that once the window closes out, there will be a link to a very quick uh, four-question survey. We appreciate any feedback um, you can provide. Also, again, this is one of many sessions that are being hosted. Be sure to sign up for additional sessions at IACAC.org. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session uh, recording, as well as all the other session recordings at IACAC.org as well. Thanks again for joining us and have a wonderful uh, rest of your day.